Welcome back guys to another beer review. You're watching All The Beer No Idea, I'm Baz. We're back with another one, like I say, and this time we're off to Bewdley. And it's from Bewdley Brewery, shockingly. And it's William Mucklow's Dark Mild, coming in at 6%, 500 ml bottle, and I think this was it coming because I bought a mixed box, it coming at about £2.10. Now, there's not many miles you see at 6%. You're normally looking probably about 3.2, 3.4, maybe going up to about 3.8, I would probably say for miles. Could even be a little bit lower, really. Uh, so this one definitely caught my eye when I seen it at 6%. So uh, beautifully brewery glass at the ready. So without further ado, let's get her open. Plain black bottle cap, by the way. Let's get her open, see what we get. Hope you're all good. Much appreciated to... Uh, all the new subscribers that have bothered to take the time to subscribe. So I went to a Shrewsbury Oktoberfest about a month ago now. And Bewdley Brewery were there. And they did have this on tap. So I did try it. I only had half. So it'll be interesting to see how this one compares. And it'll be interesting anyway because coming in at 6%. Like I say, it's not the sort of beer that you see at 6%. It just quickly says on the front, dark, licorice and fruity. Uh, let's have a look on the back. Brewed using Maris Otter, Crystal and Chocolate Malt. Uh, using Worcestershire Goldings and Fuggles Hops as well. So, uh, yeah. Beer in a glass. It's a bit lighter, I would say, than I expected it to be. Uh... It's more sort of, it's a light chestnut colour. I sort of, maybe I'm wrong, but I expect it to be a, a, just a tad darker. It looks dark up there, but from what I'm seeing, it's a little bit lighter. Uh, like I say, a chestnut colour. Maybe expecting it to be a little bit darker. There's a bit of carbonation going up. I can see the carbonation going up the glass. There is quite a bit there. The head has gone down a bit. There was probably about a head on it when I first, a uh, head on it, a finger of head on it when I first started. But we're talking about half a finger of just slightly off white compact head. So let's dive in with the nose and uh, see what we get. Oh yeah. It's almost a milky, milk chocolate or dark chocolate in there. A little bit of booziness. Dark fruit. A little bit of an aniseed feel as well on the nose, but it smells really lush, to be fair. Smells really nice. That, that chocolate malt is, is probably the biggest thing you get, and then you get everything else around it, but it smells really good. So let's shut up and get a taster. Cheers. Oh, 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 that is lovely. That is lovely. Thin in body, it is light, you know, even though it's 6%, it is quite thin in body. Carbonation, isn't an awful lot going on in there, but there is a bit in there. I, you know, I, I can look down in this glass I can see the bubbles coming up. So it's not void of any carbonation. But the mouth mouthfeel is really smooth. So even though the body's light, the carbonation is probably suits the body. The mouthfeel is very smooth. It's very soft as well. That big thing for me, the chocolate malt thing, big chocolate hit in there. It's got a lovely sweetness to it. Yeah, you get that sweetness at the front. That is the main flavour you get. But behind that, you're getting a sort of dark fruit sort of flavour to it. And I would say a subtle sort of licorice thing going on.
yeah, you sort of, the dark fruit and the licorice thing, it's sort of mixed in with the chocolate. So you're getting sort of big hit of chocolate for me. You're getting that big hit of chocolate. The licorice and the dark fruit is sitting in the background, although you do get it. 6% on this beer. Although it smells a little bit boozy, you're certainly not getting it in the taste. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little bit sort of, there's almost a little bit of roastiness in there as well. Very drinkable, very drinkable. Uh, would I call this a dangerous one? I would at 6% considering how easy it is to drink because it's not too heavy body wise this is definitely a dangerous one like I say you know not too heavy body wise even though you're getting that chocolate thing a slight sweetness to it but not too sweet it's definitely one you could drink a few of it there's not that sweetness in there that you'd say oh one would be enough I think you could quite easily down half a dozen of these. Uh, yeah, a cracking beer. And I tell you what, I haven't done a mild for a long time. And this is probably, probably one of the best milds I've had. Uh, so Budley Brewery's William Mucklow Dark Mild, for me, gets a huge thumbs up. And like I say, 500ml bottle for £2.10 at 6%. And it is not a shit beer, it is a cracking beer. This, if you like your old traditional stuff, I mean, there's lots of people out there that like a mild, that it's a style that you just don't see anymore. But if you like a mild, try and get hold of one of these. Uh, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully I haven't bored you too much. Feel free to subscribe if you want to. And uh, that's it for this video. So I'll see you again on another one. Cheers.